Content Warning has taken the internet by storm with its family-friendly brand of jump scare horror and overall YouTube vibes. But popular doesn't equal perfect, so if you're looking to enhance your experience with some sweet mods, we've got you covered. This guide will show you where to find mods, teach you how to get them working, and make a few fun recommendations. First things first, there are two different ways to mod Content Warning. As with many PC games, you can install them manually, but Content Warning is also conveniently supported by the modding app Thunderstore.io. Links to the app as well as our recommended mods will be in the video description and on IGN's wiki. Let's start with the manual installation. Whichever path you choose, you'll need to start by grabbing the Beppin EX pack from Thunderstore.io, either in-app or in your browser. This mod makes it easy to install other mods for games built on the Unity engine. Content Warning is one of them. With nearly 10 million downloads as of the time of this video, Beppin has become the standard way to mod for many Unity users. Download the zip file to wherever is convenient on your computer, but get ready to move it. In another window, find the game folder for Content Warning. This is easy to do. Right-click the game in your Steam library, click Manage, then click Browse Local Files. This will instantly pull up the correct folder. Now unzip the Beppin file from before. Open it, then click on Beppin EX Pack. Now drag everything you see inside this folder into the Local Files folder for Content Warning. Assuming you did that correctly, you'll see a console window open the next time you boot up the game. Now you're going to essentially repeat this process for each individual mod you want to install. Let's use Raul 1808's Content Boinging mod as an example. Download it to whatever folder is convenient, then unzip the file. Click inside to see the mod file itself. It'll be a .dll. Drag this into the plugins folder of the same Beppin EX we just put into Content Warning's local files. This time, after we boot up the game and see the console, we'll hear some goofy spring noises every time we jump. If the manual mod process was too complicated for you, then go with the Thunderstore.io app. To download it, simply click the link at the top of any Thunderstore page in your browser. It's always pinned there. Follow the installation instructions to set up the app wherever is most convenient for you on your PC. Oh, and if you're not at least 18 years old, we do have to tell you to ask your parents first. But don't worry you are still old enough to play Content Warning. From here, simply search for Content Warning in the app to find mods for the game. You will have to install Beppin EX no matter what, but it's always pinned at the top of mod lists, so it's easy to grab. After that, you can install any other mods you want. Just note that to actually use these mods, you'll need to launch Content Warning from within the Thunderstore app. Click the modded button with the little play symbol to do that. Now for some mod recommendations. The spring sound effect from before is funny, but the rest of these are solid quality of life improvements. Every time you start a new adventure, you have the option to change your face, and Diabolical Studios' More Customization mod does exactly what the name says. By raising the character limit and adding some additional options, you can do a whole lot more with your avatar's emoticon face. After that, we recommend WDWE Games' Infinite Stamina. Again, the name says it all. Use this to be able to run as much as you want without needing to stop to catch your breath. Next, grab Zatreat's CW Mouse Wheel. Many games let you quickly scrub through your inventory using the mouse wheel, and this mod adds the same functionality here. Just note that it does override the zoom function on the camera. Finally, we have to mention the virality mod by Max was unavailable. By default, Content Warning limits your party size to 4 players, but with this mod, that number jumps way higher. Note that as of the time of this video, the developers have actually blocked this mod due to server overload, but if you install it now, you'll be able to jump in with a bigger team as soon as the servers are updated. So that's the process for installing mods in Content Warning two different ways, plus a few recommendations for which ones to download first. And while you're here, make sure to check out our 9 tips for going viral. For even more helpful ideas for creating content, dive on over to IGN.